Hey guys, so I have a haul video for you today, a huge, huge haul. This is Black Friday and more, so I have stuff from Cotton On, PacSun, Forever 21, Choi is an online order, um, Ulta, Target, like so many places. So this is going to be a long video, you have been forewarned. But before I get started, I do want to let you guys know that I just filmed a tutorial for this look, um, and I haven't looked at the footage yet. I'm assuming it's fine, but um, if it is all is well, then this tutorial will be up uh, shortly. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's just get going. Yay, two videos in one day. I'm not used to this, okay. Yes, I'm sitting down. I haven't sat in a while, but I didn't really want to stand up for this very long ass whole video, so. Um, I'm Alright, let's start with Cotton On. Um, I haven't shopped at Cotton On in a very long time. I just haven't really been impressed with their sales, to be honest. I don't really buy anything full price from there. But I was at the outlets on Black Friday um, up in NorCal with my family, and Cotton On had all of their shorts for $5. $5. Now, I've been wanting a couple pairs of their shorts in this particular style, but they were $30 like all summer, and I was like, eh, not worth it. But they were $5. So the first pair I got has like a slight acid wash to it. This one has some embroidery though, almost like a tribally thing, you know how much I love that, um, along the sides here. And the style is their frayed mid-rise shorts. So they have a ton of different colors in this style or rather this style and a ton of different colors, I should say. But there is that one. I got these in a size 2. I also got a pair in camo with some coppery uh, metal detailing, again with the same style, but I did get these in a 4. I didn't even try these on. <laughs> I hope these ones fit. And then lastly, I got this blue pair, but they are like a brighter dyed blue. They're not like, uh, I guess, a more natural denim looking, you know? I mean, I know all denim is dyed, but whoa. <laughs> So this one is a little bit different. This is a size 2 as well. One of the pockets like it has been purposely removed and it has just that <laughs> splotch on the back. The other one has a pocket on the other side, but it's just kind of a, I don't know, strange twist to things. So there's that. Again, all three of those for $5 each. I was very, very happy with that. Now I went to PacSun, um, actually, let's see, Thanksgiving night. Now we, my family, we go travel for vacation um, for Thanksgiving. We don't purposely go out shopping, but just it's something that we do on Thanksgiving is we just like to walk around the mall. Most of the stores were closed anyway, but it's, just, it's not like a, we, we appreciate the meaning of Thanksgiving is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. So if you guys watched my last video, you know that I got sick the day before Thanksgiving and the full on sickness really hit me on Thanksgiving. And so I went back to the hotel with my dad. I did not want to shop at all, but then my brother called me and he's like, Katie, Pack Sun, 60% off the entire store, and all of the women's jeans were only $8. And I was just like, oh, no, I don't feel well. I wasn't going to go. But we stayed in the hotel for maybe an hour, and my dad was like, you think you want to go now? So we decided to go. I got so many deals. I am so grateful for my brother who called me, and I'm just very proud of myself for this purchase. You will see why. Okay, so as I mentioned, all of the women's jeans were only $8. Ridiculous. Even the Brandy Melville ones were $8. None of them fit me, but I'm just saying, it's crazy. So the first pair that I got, this is the only one that I've already worn. Um, it's their, what is this? This is the Super High Rise Skinniest, and I love this fit. This is probably my favorite jean fit that I have found like in stores anywhere. But these are all from their PacSun um, Bullhead uh, denim brand, by the way. And I got a size 5. These are super high-waisted. And honestly, I really wish that I had just gotten 3s. You'll see I got 3s and 5s. I wish I just stuck to 3s because even when you try them on if they're tight, these do stretch during the day. So even if these fit me when I first put them on or when they're fresh out of the um, laundry, as the day goes on, I'll notice the waist just starts to widen and it's just not as cute anymore. So anyway, but I got this pair in like a dark blue wash. Next one is also in a dark blue wash, but this one is a little bit darker and this is only the high rise skinniest, so it's not quite as high. And these ones I did get in a three. So there is that pair. I got my first pair of acid wash jeans. I have some acid wash shorts, but no skinny jeans. These are also the super high rise skinniest, again in a five. I really wish I'd gotten these in threes, but oh well, so I got that pair. And lastly, this is from the Bullhead brand, but it's a little bit different. Like the tag is different and everything. I'm not sure if this was part of like a newer collection. I have honestly no idea. And this is also in a size 26, so this has different number sizing. This 
hair is really cool. It has this like rusty kind of color, I guess you could say. Um, it's like a burnt brownish, reddish color, I guess. Um, and it just has distressing on the left knee. That's, I think that's it. And just like minor stuff, just like by the pocket. But um, that's that. I thought this color is really unique and cool um, and would be fun to style. So I got that pair as well. And lastly, I got two tops. Again, 60% off. The, the reason the store had such great deals, though, I should say, is because the store was closing. So it wasn't like just regular Black Friday stuff or you know, sales, it was like store closing plus Black Friday, so it was like crazy deals. Anyway, so I did get one Brandy um, top, Brandy Melville, if you're not familiar, hello, <laughs> is available at FactSet. What was happening there? And I got this top, and it's already got that like worn, distressed look to it, which I wouldn't normally pay full price for this just because of the fact that it looks like someone else has already worn it. It's super, super soft super long, super oversized and comfortable. I love t-shirts like that. <laughs> I mean, come on. Again, it was 60% off, normally $24, and I believe I got it for around $10, so it's a good deal. Another comfy, flowy t-shirt. I, I don't even know what to think about this. It's super unique, and the colors, it's kind of like a peach with a, like a, a dusty blue or turquoise, which it's almost borderline ugly, but I like it because it's weird. <laughs> and this shirt, again, super comfortable. They're very, very soft. I just love it. Um, and again, 60% off. So I did get this, I think, a size up. I got this in a medium. I just love oversized comfy t-shirts. Like, oh, it's my favorite thing. Okay, so I did get another order in from Choice. I still don't know if that's how I pronounce it, but I've just given up trying to figure it out. Um, so the first thing I got is this pair of, I guess these are jeans. Um, they're stretchy though. They're almost like like a really nice like jegging material I guess you could say. I have worn these once and they are high-waisted. They have one gold bu uh, button. They don't have po po <laughs> They don't have pockets on the front, but they do have back pockets, which I need pockets of some kind because I always throw my phone in there. But these are high-waisted skinny jeans. They are very comfortable. I did get a size small. They are a little bit tight. I will definitely admit that, but <laughs> Um, nothing unwearable. I don't know if a medium would have been too big. As I mentioned with those PacSun jeans, I don't like when they stretch and then the waist is like all out. It just, I don't like that. So I figured just stick with the small and see how it goes. So I really like these. Next, I have this faux suede top. And if you watched, I think it was my last haul video, you guys know that faux suede has slowly made its way into my wardrobe. So this top is like a burnt sort of camel color, um, and I like the design, I love the style, it has a zipper on the back, it's a crop top obviously, and it has these long straps to tie it around your waist. However, as you will see in the try on portion of this, um, this top is just too big for me. It's a small, but sizing wise, it's big, like it's loose out here, so I just can't deal with that. I could like try to adjust it somehow but it doesn't really work but also the waist is too big the thing about that is when you try to tie these um, to fit me because the waist is big it pulls this detail in here and then everything is just it, it's just not cute anymore so unfortunately it's too big but I just I really do love the style and I think it's well made but yeah so there's that one Next up is a pair of leggings. I was super excited to try these. Unfortunately, these are also big, but in a, in a weird way. So these are so cool. They have faux leather, like regular leather here, and then they have faux suede. So it's like this really cool paneling. I just think that's cool. And the back is just regular like black legging material. But this is a really cool combination. I've never seen leggings like this. And I think faux leather is really cool. I think it's an edgy thing you can throw on and just with anything and kind of adds something extra to your outfit. But the thing about these, or with any leather leggings or pants really, is they can't be baggy or it just looks kind of odd in my opinion. Especially leggings, because like the material will bunch up and it just looks, it looks funny. So fortunately these are a little bit too big, but also the ankles, they're not tight. They are looser fit, kind of like a straight leg cut. And it just, it just looks kind of bizarre to me. So unfortunately, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to make these work. Uh, I'll have to figure something out. By the way, I did get those in a medium. Kind of wish I would gotten small, but I went by the size measurements on the website. If you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen this set. I did try it on in a picture, um, and it has this top with long sleeves. I really like the pattern and coloring here. And it's a crop top, and it has... <laughs> a super open back like it has basically like pedals you know and it's just like totally open that's like that's 
that's all that's connected right there. Just that little part. And this is also not lined, so you need to be careful about what you wear under that. And then the shorts that go with it, these are really comfortable. Now, I got this in the large, just based on the size measurements, I got a large. Um, and these fit, the elastic isn't like too tight or anything, which is great, <laughs> considering it is a large. But these, they're they're big in in the sense they, they cut the, how am I going to describe this? They kind of remind me of like men's boxers, you know? Like they have that kind of just boxy <laughs> fit. So I don't know if I could have got sized down, but just based on the size measurements, I decided to go, be safe about it and go with the large. I do like these, they're comfortable. I'll probably wear them around the house, but I don't know if I would actually wear this set out. Um, I, I, I don't know yet, so. But I do really like it. <laughs> There's that. Okay, a couple more clothing items. I got this white very ribbed top. It has cut out cold shoulder situations going on here. And I like that these cutouts are so like boxy, like it's a right angle there. Um, unfortunately, the one thing about this top though is that the sleeves themselves are a little bit short. Now, I myself am a small person, so I don't think I have abnormally long arms. So just thinking about people who are taller and like longer than I am, I think that could probably be an issue. But I just, I like the design. I think it's a cool top, but just the arms is just one thing. I did get this in a small, by the way. I'll try to put all my sizes in the description box. I always forget to do that, so mental note. All right. And lastly, for clothing from Choice, I got this skirt, uh, very similar to the one that I got from Shein last time, except this one has just a straight hem, no scalloping or anything like that. I will say this one is thinner. There's no lining in this one, so I mean, it literally just buttons open. So these snaps are actually very strong and very secure, so I don't really worry about like the skirt popping open for any reason. But I would still just wear shorts under it. I always do anyway, but that would just be my recommendation. And I got this in a size... don't know. Okay, lastly from Toys, I did get another pair of shoes. Now the last time I got a pair of shoes from there, they were too big and I was super bummed because they were beautiful shoes. But this time I decided to get boots. And again, sizing, you, you never really know. I got these over-the-knee faux suede boots. These are the ones that are like super loose. You have to um, tie the, the thing at the top there. But these, I did get in a seven. They didn't have half sizes, and normally I am a six and a half. Like usually spot on six and a half is my size. So I decided to go sized up rather than down because I could always wear, you know, like thicker socks or just something. I'd rather have them too big than too small. And of course they are a little bit big. I think six and a half, honestly, if they had that size would have been perfect. So they are a bit big, but nothing unwearable. I, I really like them. They're comfortable. Um, and I do have a bit of a hard time keeping them up just because these ties aren't exactly the most secure things, but still love them. And there is that. Okay. Okay, so I have some stuff from Forever 21. I placed two different online orders in the past month or so. Might have been even like over a month. Anyway, uh, but they've been having these like online deals, like save 20% or whatever. So I always take advantage of those. So the first thing I got is this top with these shadow stripes. I do have this in black, so this may look familiar if you guys uh, follow all my haul videos. But this is the white version of that black shadow stripe top that I got in that other haul. I have no idea which one that was. It's just this long. I would call this a tunic because it is definitely long on me. And I think it would be long on most people. And in, in case you don't know what shadow stripes are, it's almost like some meshy paneling between there. And so this is definitely see-through. You have to be aware of what you are under this. But the cool thing about these is that you can wear something like statement under it. If you want to wear something colored or like white under black or black under white, you could do that. Or you can wear a white tank top under this and be very, you know, uh, understated, whatever you want to do. So. There is that one. I did get this in a small. Next up, I never thought I would get something like this. <laughs> it, it's essentially just like a mesh crop top, which <laughs> I still don't know how I feel about this. I kind of like it though, and it has pockets like right over the boobs. So, I mean, I don't have a big chest, obviously, so it's not really an issue. Um, but I could probably get away with wearing, honestly, whatever I want under this. Again, this is something you could wear something statement under it or just wear black and keep it um, low-key. And these pockets are actually functional, so if you wanted to keep something in there, there's that. And this is also a size small. I got this pair of corgi socks. You know like when you're browsing the Forever 21 website, you kind of end up in like weird places on the site, and I always end up looking at their socks. <laughs> 
I love corgis, okay? First of all, my older brother, he needs to get one. He told, he said he was gonna get a corgi, and he hasn't got one yet. <laughs> He's really sad about it. But anyway, corgis are like adorable, especially when they're sleeping. All the sleeping corgi puppy videos on YouTube just get me every time. And they're just like, they're just like these fat, fluffy dogs with these like big, dense bodies and these like little short, stubby legs. <laughs> They're so cute! Ugh, I die. I die. So, I have to show my brother these. He's gonna love them. So, they're for me though. Because he's a guy. And he has big feet. And, anyway, I'm... <laughs> okay, last thing for clothing, I think. I got a new bralette. You guys know most of my bralettes are from Forever 21. Whenever people ask, that's usually, except the one I'm wearing now. This one's from Windsor. But, um, this is what this one looks like. It has some really cool cutouts. One in the front and then a couple on the sides as well. I like that it has a little bit of a thicker strap. That's always a good thing. Um, I, I haven't worn this yet, obviously, but I did try it on and it fits pretty well. So there's that. I did get a few accessories. I did get a belt. I have not bought a belt in I don't know how long, but I really have been wanting to get one just because I, I wear a lot of bohemian looking things. Um, and so I wanted to get a belt just because I feel like that's part of the vibe, you know? So I got this one, and it has these, like, antique silver medallion type things, but it also has these twists to it. I don't know if I really like this that much. I'll, I'll see if I can style it, and if not, I'll probably return it, but we'll see. It's cool, you know, there's that. Alright, so I did get some jewelry as well. I got... Sorry about that guys, um, my battery died. So anyway, I don't know where we last left off, but I did get some jewelry from Forever 21. First thing is this ring set. I will hopefully be able to give you guys the link to the actual set below. But um, this one, I always get size seven with rings at Forever 21, just because the six is always a tad too small. The seven is always a tad too big, so that's just what I have to deal with. But I do really like this set. I don't care for this particular ring, I'll show you guys a close up, but these two, um, I really do like these, so there's that set. I also got an earring set as well, it has two sets of ear jackets, I've seen this one in store and I just, for some reason, like always told myself, like, you don't need it, which obviously I don't need it, but um, with the discount codes that I had, whichever one I used for this, I did get a little bit off of it. This one has kind of blinged out ear jackets. And the cool thing is you could just like switch up the studs with whichever jacket part you want. Um, and there is that. So this set was $5.90 with whatever discount as well. The last thing I got from Forever 21 was this necklace and I'm so bummed. It broke the day I was wearing it while I was sitting down. Like I wasn't even doing anything. I was in the car and all of a sudden I looked down and I was like, what, what happened? It looked like this. And I just love it. It has this really cool um, blackened chain and like this sort of dimpled uh, thing here. And then it had this fake um, stone rock thing hanging down from here. But then the link that links this to the chain, and I have the thing. Here's the chain that it hung off of, but it's just. The, the link holding it on was just way too weak, like super, super thin and pliable, and I, I can fix it, but just the fact that it broke like literally while I was sitting in a car, I was just like, come on, come on. All right, next I have some stuff from Ulta. Oh my God, this is gonna be the longest haul video of life, so sorry about that. I mean, I think you guys like them anyway, but. Okay, so the first thing I got is from Tarte. I got this little mini duo set. This has the mini maracuja oil as well as the little eye cream. I love the maracuja oil. I think it is a fantastic moisturizer, especially if it's um, during fall and winter when your skin gets a little bit drier, for me personally anyway. The eye cream is whatever. I'm not like a super big eye cream person, but I just really like this and I can't justify paying so much money for the big one. Like, it's crazy. I just feel a little bit better when I buy it, like, little by little. Next up, I did get another color tattoo in bold gold from Maybelline. I have used two of them. If you watched my last MC's video, I've gone through two of these. Like, that's a big deal as far as colored, like, bases go. So, I, of course, I had to get another one, and I, I just, it's my baby. I love it. <laughs> now, I did get one of these NYX High Voltage Lipsticks, and I got the shade, uh... Dahlia. It's this really dark smoky purple. And here's the thing. So I lost my NYX uh, Transylvania lip cream. And you guys know I love that thing. And whenever I wore a dark lip, that was it. And I always got so many questions. 
So that is sold out at every Ulta and every drugstore everywhere. So I decided to try this one. There is a swatch of it. Now this is a lipstick, it's not a lip cream, and it's not matte. So that combination, and the fact that this is so creamy, that combination with a dark color is just kind of never a good thing. I should have known that going into it, but I was, I just really wanted a dark lip, and this isn't bad, it's just definitely more high maintenance than uh, the lip cream is. So it's a cool color, but it's just a little bit too cool, actually, like cool toned, and, it, and it's just a true, like, dark purple, whereas I feel like Transylvania is a little bit warmer and could be warmed up a little bit easier, so. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. And the last thing I got from Ulta is this Nivea, a kiss of oil, <laughs> of olive oil and lemon. Um, I love these Nivea lip balms. This is one of the ones that I have not tried. And I don't know what it smells like to me. I, I don't think that it smells like olive oil. I get like a hint of lemon, but it smells like something and I cannot like, put my finger on it. It smells like a product. Like, I don't know if it's a lotion or a soap or what. But it smells good. Like, I was really hesitant because I was like, olive oil? I don't know about that. But it smells good. I like it. Alright, home stretch here. Alright, Target. <laughs> okay, I just got a few things from Target. Um, all of the women's, I think it was apparel, accessories, and shoes were all 40% off uh, the, the two days after Thanksgiving, so Black Friday and Saturday, I believe. So I got this pair of gloves. I was in NorCal, and it was cold. So I got this pair of gloves, and it's actually, each one is the double pairs there. So you could do that and, you know... You, technically, you get four gloves. That's fun, right? Okay. I also got this hat from my last video. I love hats, especially wearing them like this. Especially in videos, it makes me feel cooler <laughs> than I actually am. You could full, like wear this one like Indiana Jones is what my brother called it. I, I don't, don't really like wearing hats like this. I kind of like to um, angle them on the back of my head, but you know what? I'm just going to keep wearing this. I do really like this. Again, 40% off, so I think I got it for $12 instead of $20. Same thing with this pair of moccasins. Now these are slippers technically, although I wear them as shoes, okay? I fully admit I wear them as shoes because they're comfy and they're fuzzy and they have like a full on like bottom. They're not like slippery, slippery, you know? And these were also supposed to be 20, but I got them for 12 with the 40% off discount. Amazing, and I love them. I have like five pairs of these, it's ridiculous. Last thing for this haul. Oh wait, no, I have one more thing. <laughs> Last thing from Target. I got just a couple pairs or a couple packs of pens from the dollar section. This one has gold, white, and silver gel pens, and this one just has two regular black ink pens, but I thought the, the actual pens themselves were really cute, so. Okay, one last thing, one last thing. I went to the CCO at the outlet, and I got one thing. I got a MAC eyeshadow that I have not purchased from in a long time. So this is one of their Pro Longwear eyeshadows. I think I have one other of these in my collection, I think. And this is the shade Sweet Satisfaction. Totally a candy shade. It is a warm gold, and it's the perfect lip color. I love warm golden colors. I don't know if you'll be able to see that swatch. But just the basic thing that I can wear with anything. Any of my palettes it'll go with, so there's that. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long-ass video, so if you're still here, I love ya. Okay. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm like super hyper. I have to work tonight. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.